Hey there, it's Bricks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today we're going to talk about how to find files and manage files using a program called Alfred, which is, amongst many other things, an application launcher, or they call it a productivity application. Now you can download Alfred from alfredapp.com, or you can also find it in the Mac App Store. Personally, I recommend that you get it from their website, because a lot of the extended features that we're going to talk about don't work in a sandboxing environment, which you would be subject to if you were to buy it through the App Store. So I generally recommend, it works fine if you get it from the App Store, but you can do a lot more with the version that you download from their website. Now, Alfred is free, but there's an, a power pack that is uh, 15 pounds, so whatever that works out to in your currency, that allows you to do a lot more, and a lot of the stuff that we're gonna be talking about here uses the power pack features. Alfred does a ton of stuff, but I'm only going to be focusing on the aspect of finding files and manipulating files. So check out the website if you want to learn about the other stuff that it can do. Okay, so the way that Alfred works is that you hit a specific key combination and it brings up the Alfred window. And by default, you can set it to whatever you want, but by default it is option space. And that brings up this little Alfred bar here and we can change the appearance of it, I'm not going to get into that, but basically the way I use it to find files is I will type a little bit of a file name that I want it to, to search for. So for example, let's say that I remember at some point I bought some inline skates and I just can't remember when or where I bought them, but I know they were Solomon's. So I'm just going to type in Solomon here and you can see as I'm typing it's narrowing down automatically. And you can see just by typing those few characters, it's already shown me these top two results here. Uh, but you know, we can keep on we can keep on typing and and it will narrow it down even further. And it's finding it because the word Solomon is in the file name. Now I could have gone the other way. You can see for some reason I bought uh, inline skates t twice in the period of one year. I'm not sure why I did that. That's a long time ago. But I could narrow it down differently too. Let's say I wanted to find things that I bought at that store called Sport Check. I could just type Sport Check and it will find it. I could type, if I didn't know that I had put the two words together in the file name, which is how I named files back then, I could put spaces, I could type Sport Check and it would find it as well. Another handy thing if I knew that I bought these things back in 2005, I could type in 2005 sport. And you can see there, it narrows it right down because I have the words 2005 in the file name. Another good reason to put dates in your file name. Now, let's just assume that this is the document that we're looking for. I can hit enter which is what you see here on the right hand side, it's telling me I can hit enter and that will automatically open it up. I don't need to navigate to it. It will just open it right up. And the free version of Alfred will do everything that I just showed you. But let's say that I wanted to go a bit further. So I'm, I'm just gonna close this down and let's, let's look again. So I'm gonna hit 2005 Sport again to narrow it down. And let's say that there's other things I wanted to do. What I can do is I can hit the right hand arrow key and you can see here, and this is part of the power pack. This is one of the things the power pack will unlock for you is the ability to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I can open it with another application. I can open it. I can open up the finder window and have it jump right to the folder where this is. I can email it. I can copy the file and move the file. I do this a lot. This is how I do a big chunk of my, you know, if I'm moving files around, I will typically find it with Alfred and then copy it or move it to where I want it to go. You can delete it. You can open a terminal window there. You can copy the path to clipboard. There's just a whole bunch of stuff that you can do with this. And Alfred, and other application launchers like LaunchBar, Quicksilver, make this stuff really fast. So that's a very quick example of how to use Alfred to search for files and manipulate files. There's a lot more you can do. There's clipboard history, 
There's giving there's the ability to control where Alfred looks and where it doesn't look. You can control what files it looks for. That's all in the preferences up here. You just click on the Alfred icon and go to preferences and you can control all that. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.